Rust is the future of front-end development. It's not about WebAssembly, it's about everything else. Rust is a programming language with a modern syntax, and it is comparable to C++ in terms of performance and speed. It has been voted the most loved programming language for more than five years in a row. Rust is becoming increasingly popular. It was used by Mozilla when they rebuilt their CSS engine for Firefox. Some companies have moved away from building services in Java, Go, and C++ in favor of Rust. JavaScript and TypeScript dominate front-end development. Historical reason has favored those programming languages and has naturally made them one of the most popular programming languages in the world. They happen to be one of the first programming languages newcomers are learning nowadays. The natural dominance of JavaScript is visible in our browsers, but also during the development of our front-end. Tools like Webpack, Babel, ESLint, and more have been written in JavaScript. With Node.js and NPM, the number of packages and tools for front-end development has exploded, most written in JavaScript. So why is Rust the future of front-end development? One of the reasons is because tools have reached their limits with JavaScript. Around 2017, I remember people in the front-end development community complaining about the rise in the complexity of front-end tools. The term was JavaScript tool fatigue. Tooling at the beginning was relatively simple and you had little to do to develop your front-end. You could do most of it by concatenating and minimizing your CSS and JavaScript files. Developers could accomplish this with a simple 20 line script or with a task runner, such as Gulp, if they had more build logic. Then it became more complex to build websites and the need for tools grew. Running a 20 line script was relatively fast might take 15 milliseconds. But now, tools will not take milliseconds, but seconds to run. And that is where JavaScript has hit its limit. There has been an exciting trend that started a couple of years ago. It started relatively slowly, but is louder and louder nowadays. With the release of Next.js 13, it has become apparent that front-end development tools are moving away from JavaScript. Vercel introduced Turbo Pack last month, in October 2022. It is supposed to be used instead of Webpack. Here's what Vercel has to say about Turbo Pack. Webpack has been downloaded over 3 billion times. While it's been an integral part of building the web, we have hit the limits of the maximum performance possible with JavaScript-based tooling. In Next.js 12, we began our transition to native Rust-powered tooling. We started by migrating away from Babel, which resulted in 17x faster transpilation. Then, we replaced Tursor, which resulted in 6x faster minification. It's time to go all-in on native for bundling. TurboPack is not the first JavaScript tool migrating to another programming language. In 2020, Evan Wallace came up with ESBuild, a tool to build and transpile TypeScript slash JavaScript code. And the tool was written in Go. While Babel can do the same, the performance comparison was impressive for ESBuild. On average, a 100x performance improvement was reported. Rome is another exciting tool that is being written in Rust. The creator of Babel and Yarn founded Rome. The project aims to unify the front-end development stack by combining the functionality of separate tools. Linter and Formatter are some of those tools. They decided last year to do a complete rewrite of ROM in Rust. And the results are in. The formatter is about 9 to 12 times faster than Prettier. If you have been working on CSS tools for front-end development, you must have come across PostCSS. 
PostCSS is a valuable CSS parser transformer and many plugins and tools are using it. But when you're trying to improve the performance of those tools, it is usually the bottleneck. Now we have Lightning CSS, a CSS parser based on Mozilla Firefox Servo, which is a CSS parser. Lightning CSS boosts a 100x performance improvement for CSS minification compared to JavaScript-based tools like CSS Nano. In conclusion, Rust-based tooling is on the rise, slowly replacing our JavaScript tools. It replaces our JavaScript bundlers, CSS minifiers, formatters, and linters. Not only does it result in faster tools for front-end development, but Rust offers the possibility of being used in the browser through WebAssembly. If you want to learn more about Rust, I definitely recommend a YouTube channel called No Boilerplate. The channel has videos about Rust that explain really well the different features of it, and I believe they also have a video about WebAssembly.